Hey, welcome to the Speedbird Shop. Now we got a couple of killer projects in here. We're gonna walk you through. This is our quest for horsepower and performance. Now this guy right here started out as a stock 2005 WRX STI model. Now these made about 300 horsepower at the flywheel from the factory, so nice brisk ride. That's not good enough. This one is now pumping out about 550 horsepower plus through all four tires. Now it starts with a bigger turbo sitting down here. Now we're pushing about 29 pounds of boost, upgraded intercooler, blow off valve, the whole works. But the only way to feed that Dragon is with an upgrade in the fuel system. So let's walk you through what it takes, the starting point of these vehicles, and how to get it to feed the mighty beast. Come on in the back. Now most modern vehicles are gonna have a fuel pump module from an assembly just like this one and they're gonna locate them in the tank, right? A lot of them are found typically under the rear seats, maybe just behind. Um, but what the in-tank fuel pump assembly does, especially on you know, high pressure fuel like EFI is, one, putting the pump anywhere upstream, pumps are made to push, not pull, so all that pulling up to the pump, you can get cavitation. So you can ruin a pump and you can have other issues. Well, secondly, by putting it in the pump, it makes it nice and quiet. You don't have it buzzing on your frame rail. All right, and lastly, because the pump is in the fuel tank and in the fuel, it's staying cool. So the fuel keeps it cool instead of sitting on a frame rail getting heat from the tarmac or maybe some headers a little bit upstream. Now, this is what a stock system looks like. Now, we've upgraded to AN fittings so we can run, you know, AN lines, upgraded filters and stuff all the way up to the front. But with some simple mods down here, you can make big power keeping all this other stuff factory up until you get to the injectors. But let's walk through some of those details up on the bench. All right, let's get this thing up here so you can see it. Now this is pretty typical of what you're gonna see for an assembly system inside a tank in modern cars. So you've got a hanger here. It's gonna mount your pump, right? You're gonna have your sock filter down here. There's gonna be a return line for the system. And this is your sensor for your fuel gauge. You can see if you're running out of fuel or not. Now what's awesome about these, you know, we talked about some of the benefits of an in-tank, is you can upgrade them super easy. Now Aeromotive has these fantastic turbine style pumps. These come in different sizes, different configurations, so whatever vehicle you have, they have one that you can literally just plug and play right into your stock system, and technically you can double the amount of power you can get from your engine. Now you're not gonna make horsepower with just a pump. You're gonna have injectors, because they're gonna restrict Right? This pump started out 130, 155 liters per hour with the upgrade, now I'm at 340. But injectors, it's the same thing. So we're gonna dive in here, pop the two injectors off of this side, pop the other two off of that side, upgrade their flow capability, so now we can get the fuel into the engine. We are already pulling the rails, so why not pop on some new ones? Billet, higher flow, better capability, all the fittings that go with it, along with even your high flow you know, pressure regulator. This guy's gonna help dampen all those pulses in the system. So each injector needs to see a solid pressure across that whole rail. This guy right here is gonna do it. Now you wanna monitor it, plug this guy in, comes with the kit. This is their equalizer. It's a liquid filled fuel pressure gauge. That comes with it, so everything you need to plug and play, you literally pop the pump in, don't change anything, and when you get up to the front, you got some adapters for your feet in and your feet out, and you're done. Now, a cool upgrade that they do is they actually go from a series, so you got fuel coming into one rail, into the other rail, and back to your tank. They actually do it in parallel. So what we'll do is come in with a Y direction, split them back together on the other side, so you've separated the two halves. So now your fuel flow lowers as far as speed per rail. A little bit better dynamics, lets the turn go into the injectors a little bit, then they bring it back together, tie back into your stock system. So this is a great way to do the upgrades to support just about anything you wanna do on one of these rides. Now, let's say you wanna do something more race-like, something custom, old school. You wanna do a swap? Let me show you another project. We'll walk you through that. All right, so check out this project. One of my favorite personal builds, 1990 first generation BMW M3. Nothing stock from head to toe. Hand formed fenders and quarters out of steel. Big tires, big brakes, big motor. LS3, big cam, pumping out 500 plus horsepower. How are you gonna feed this beast, right? The original 190 some horsepower engine doesn't have 
a system set up to even adapt. So if I don't have a frame like this where I can easily go in and change out the mini pump and get all the flow that I need, I need a system to start with to make it easy. So that's where the Phantom system comes in from Aeromotive. Now if you look at it, it's exactly everything that we had to work with on our WRX, right? We've got a frame holding the pump, we've got our sock filter, we've got our upstage top system here that's got our inlets, our outlets, our vents, everything we need, plus it even has things like foam and sort of a reservoir baffling system that really helps hold the fuel where it needs to be so you can pick it up, push it to your engine, and when you return, you can keep this nice and full so whether you're hard accelerating or cornering, it's gonna make sure you have fuel in there all the time feeding that big motor. All right, let's break the system down a little bit so you can get a better look, see at what's going on inside. So this is your basic top, right? So on this system, we got a 340 pump, just like we had in our WRX. That'll support 700 to 1,000 horsepower depending on if you're forced induction, EFI, or even carbureted. This one is set up to double that. So we're gonna run two 340 pumps if that's what you need. So you can run up to 2,000 horsepower with the same setup with double the pumps. So if you look at it, we've got our top section here, all billet aluminum. We've got our connectors, our wiring right here. So you can pass through all of your you know, pump connections. All of it's sealed, all of it fuels safe. We've got a stainless steel hanger here. All you need to do is cut it to the length you need, to the depth that you want. This one has two pump outlets and a return, which is kind of slick. This has sort of a duct bill on it. This actually helps the return fuel not pelt and create a lot of aeration because that's not what you want in your tank. So everything is nice and non-frothy. Of course, your connectors. And at the heart of the system, obviously, is the pumps. So you can start with a 200 or you can do like we have, a 340. You can go two 340s for twice the flow or you can even get it for flex fuel if you're running E85. Now, what's really magical about this system is you don't have to do any welding, any major fabrication, the right diameter hole saw, scan over your tank for someplace deep enough for your module to sit in. It doesn't even have to be that flat. This amazing gasket system here, you can see how much crushability it has. You can go over uneven surfaces with no problem and get it to seal. Once you got your spot, a hole saw, punch out the hole, now you can use this guy here, which is pretty darn clever. It's basically a guiding tool for a lot of the other operations. You set that in there into your hole. Now you can use these hole locations to get your pattern just like this. Now, if you want to come by with a ruler, you're going to come down in here and just kind of measure your depth. So that's going to set not only your pump depth, but your baffling system. So I can take that same measurement, I can cut off the top of this, and with the same sort of tool, right, I can scrunch this down and I can feed it right through there. It's got a nice radius. Let that thing pop back open. You're ready to drop in your whole pump module, bolt it down, you're ready to go. Now once this tank is out of the car, sitting on a bench, you can get this done in about an hour, which is pretty amazing. Now just a safety tip, start with a new tank if you can, because you got gas vapors in there that could explode if you get some you know, sparks or have your tank professionally clean, which is a good idea anyways. All right, check out Aeromotor for any fuel system needs from mild to wild, carbureted EFI, or even forced induction. They got everything in individual pieces, or in a lot of times, an awesome complete kit. Now all we have to do, get this fuel module back in our WRX, but in the meantime, I think it's time for a little inspiration, a little fun in this bad boy. Till then, see you next time.